When we're making maps of the United States, we'll often want to put Alaska and Hawaii underneath the 48 states, just so that we can fit everything in. This is a compromise, but it's quite a common one. In QGIS, you can use the geometry generator style to do this without altering the original data. So we're gonna double click the layer and we go to symbology and we click simple fill because here we need to change the symbol layer type to geometry generator. You can see there's lots of choices, but geometry generator is what we want. We're gonna click on the expression button and I will paste in the expression that does this. You can copy and paste this to your own project if you want to. It's in the information about this video. So what's happening here is in my data set, there's a column called code and it's got the state codes in it. And this expression says when the code equals AK, do the following things, scale it. And it's been scaled by 0 0.5, which means I'm making Alaska half the size. We're rotating it by minus 28 degrees. And we are also translating it, which means we're moving it by this many meters and this many meters south. Our data sets in meters, if it was in degrees, those numbers would be very, very small decimal degrees, but these are meters. Same for Hawaii, we're rotating it and translating it, but we don't need to scale it because we don't need to change the size. For everything else, we're just using its normal geometry, unchanged, and then the expression ends. So if I click OK, and OK, we can see how this works. If you want to make this permanent, click the processing toolbox, type in geometry by expression, open the tool, and you can just paste your expression here. So if you want to alter the layer and create a new permanent layer like this, that's how you would do it. But for now, I'm just creating it using geometry generator styles. So have a go yourself if you need to do this and you can edit any of the settings that you need to change.